Hi guys, welcome back to Dungeon Runpa. It's, uh. Yeah, it's. I actually tried to record this last night, but, uh. Stomach decided to start acting up, and, uh, I got maybe half an hour into this, so I have a. I have a few ideas of what I have to do, but beyond that, I'm in the dark. So, I mean, I'll point out when we get what to where I left off. But it is here. He's probably not going to say anything until we go to the bathroom, because that's what we have to do. Sorry, sneezed. I'm still a little congested today, so... Maybe we should just get to it. I don't know, is there anything in the trash can? Oh! A mono coin. Nice! Alright. Let's get rolling! It's gone. She... She really is gone. It's almost like there was another anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. Just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us... Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> Didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke. A sickening dream. But I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. S sorry hmm. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was... spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing... never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well... Staying there, with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up! Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? We were already working together, yet, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because it's Sayaka made the first move. Well... But, but if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. To find them may be too great of a risk. So then... Then... What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no What? No what? I... I can't take it! I don't want to live, if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? 
Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The Mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the Mastermind. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear, so be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. What, what was that about just now? He's saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Love that tone. I just love that particular... I don't know, sting? Yeah, that sounds right. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yahoo! Whoa, I sound pretty cool just now. Don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Oh, wait, that's Makoto. I did it again, damn it. Last time I tried this, it happened too. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. 
You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids th get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead. Look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But... A new world? Could it be... Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay then, let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony. You know that? Got it! More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay, so the only place we really have to explore right now is upstairs. I have tried going to the store and everywhere else, and it just tells me that I have to go to the second floor. So let's talk with Hiro. What the heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. For serious. That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh... I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here. Let me out. I have no idea what he's talking about. So, maybe I'll just leave him alone. Totally fair. Alright, let's see. So, yeah, for example, I'll try to go to the bathroom. I should look around the school first. I need to find out what Monokuma meant by a new world. Yeah, so if you try to go anywhere apart from the uh, second floor, it'll just tell you that. Yo. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but... <sighs> Shit. Just like I figured, it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he made things that easy for us. Hey, damn it! What? Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do you? No thanks. I think I've got enough for now. Yo. Well, okay. I'm gonna go look for another way out then. All right, you do you, man. I almost said Mondo, but like Mondo Man from the Mighty Ducks animated series. Hey, Taka. What's up? Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor is opened up. You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Well, while we're doing that, I know where we have to go, but I'll explore everywhere else first. All right, so should be a, a, a mono coin in here. See anything useful in here? Never mind. Also, side note, I really like this track too. Like the soundtrack for Dungan Rumpa is actually really good. Oh, I never went in this room. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Oh, this is where Sakura was. All right. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around. All right. Check the metal plates. In any normal classroom, this is where a window would be, but 
The windows here have those same metal plates covering them. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but on the second floor, too. The windows here have those same metal plates covering them. There we are! The surveillance camera. They're watching every single move we make. I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. Even if the time was wrong, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. I really don't like that. I really want to know what's the deal with the chalkboard messages. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now it's just showing the school crest. If I break it, Monokuma might come and punish me. Alright, I guess that's everything in here. Let's go check out Classroom 2B and then we'll head to the pool. Onward! Alright, so what do we got? Maybe we're not allowed to break them, but what about blocking them so they can't see anything? Nope, still not brave enough to try it. If I'm right, we'll have the same messages here on the metal plates. To be sealed in by a huge slab of metal. It's like I'm stuck in a bad dream. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Okay. So I'm gonna assume that the clock and the monitor tell us the exact same thing. Yep. Oh. It's a force of habit, even though it just leaves me with this empty feeling. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. I'd love to just smash the stupid thing, but who knows what would happen to me if I did. Alright. To the pool! Part of me wants to fast forward, but the other part doesn't, because I've got chicken wings here that I like to eat between moments, so... I'll see you over there. Alright. Let's get in there. Oh, Makoto! Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Pool, pool, pool! You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. Okay. There's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Is that... a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? Before I talk to the girls or check the doors, I will explore the side stuff. There are a bunch of different pool-related items on the shelf. And that's why I need my mono coins. dang it. If I'm stuck here, I'm gonna make the most of it. it. Looks like one of those lifesaver flotation donuts. That's not what I wanted, I wanted the monitor. There we are. I'd love to just smash the stupid things, but who knows what would happen to me if I did. Alright, camera this time. Wonder how much that gun swivels. A surveillance camera. Even here we're being watched. Alright, let's start with Chihiro and we'll work our way over to the left. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No. I... Don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But... Still, it, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um... It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Chihiro, I really want to learn more about you, I must admit. Don't die, okay? okay. The locker rooms connect to a pool! It looks super nice, and big, and fantastic to swim in! Ah, I'm beyond excited right now! I can't wait to dive in! 
In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting mad? <laughs> the second floor has opened up, the living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> Alright, I actually... Okay, I can't turn far enough. Alright, let's check the boys' room. Behind this door is... the locker room? Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really! Oh. Hmm. If you want to unlocker the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... What if someone sneaks... What if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <laughs> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See? There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Yeah! And it'll be all... Ducka, 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 ducka. Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um... Um... No... I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. What happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ah. That never even occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm? Okay then, how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. There! So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that my person might do using the handbook. So, um... But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs! You're at that age you try humping a plastic bottle! So to, uh, so to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch! <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> all I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself! This is I don't care what happens in your private dorms, by force or by cunning. Do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! <sighs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, Chihiro, you wanna come with me? As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Seriously, how do you keep clean? I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll pass this time. How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Is Celeste like a chinchilla where she just rolls around in dust to bathe? I don't know. Huh. Well, maybe we'll find out. Alright, to the library. Now that letter there is what we have to inspect, so I'll talk with Toko and the others first. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed. There's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems... lacking. You know nothing. Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Hmm. I've seen what you write, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. What the heck? My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of j jumbled up letters. So someone should just burn it all. <laughs> Ooh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy-on-boy -boy action. 
boy on boy. I don't care if it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. It's all filth. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, hey, Fumi. So it goes wrong, though. Like, some manga and anime are still remembered many years later. Chobits. Is that still running? I don't know. Still, this library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Alright. What do you gotta say, Fumi? <laughs> I'm absolutely shocked. How come? They have all these books here, and not one copy of any of my works! Well, well, yeah. Why would they have comics in the library? Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. You just don't get it. Not. At. All. I, I do, too, get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell that nothing you do is worthwhile. Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. No, nothing. Now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're so full of it. <laughs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. Alright, Kyoko. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I want to do much reading in. Alright, so. I can interact with the door, but I'd like to see the books and stuff first. The shelf is packed tight with books. Packed tight? Packed tight with books. But looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Looks like the library's been neglected for a pretty long time. Even though it's a prestigious high school, they've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. That's what I figured. Alright. Any other books? There is a table there. Shelves packed types with books. Blah, blah, blah. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. Oh, cool! Alright, let's explore the table. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. Looks like the library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is... Okay. Let's go to the other room. What's behind this door? Some kind of archive. All I saw or all I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. Can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true. I don't really have any reason to check it out. Alright, let's check the camera. How long am I going to be stuck here being watched by all these cameras? Monitor. I'm starving for information from the outside world. If only there was a TV that worked. Oh, I can check with the loan desk. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Alright, letter time. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is... a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. 
Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society, ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope Speak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history, for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would, seem... it would seem Hope's Peak Academy had stopped functioning as a school, and judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have opened or happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely. The mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So in other words... That must have all been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people who could potentially be capable of anything. Oh, could be. Forget the who. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However, If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice, simple solution if it's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing their closure have been resolved. This is around where I had to stop. What did they mean by serious issues? It's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If, if the two events are in fact connected, Uncovering that connection would be a useful clue, on top of figuring out the Mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. <laughs> so in other words, only the Mastermind knows the truth right now. Mastermind's motive. We can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here. Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Listen to me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, and whatever you want. There's so much it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. Ha ha ha. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, what about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? <laughs> oh. Well, um. Why? There wasn't anything in the what? warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking around! We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out! <laughs> now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking loon. 
For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then. So, are we done for today? Y yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. We all promise not to leave our rooms during night time. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I... I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great. Not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy-paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Mon- 